Disclaimer, all the character incident are fictional, everything is measured in this FF. So don't compare it with your life, it's just based on imagination, not on reality. You giggled when you locked the door, then you turned to the bed. You are sleeping here after waking me up, huh? Hey, wake up. You walked to him. I said, wake up. It's my order, Mr. Jeon Jungkook. He was sleeping like a little bunny while hugging the pillow. Hey, Jungkook. You sat beside him. Buddy, wake up now. I'm getting bored. Let's go out. You touch his eyelid. You are so bad. How can you sleep so deeply? Please wake up. You glare at him. Fine, I'm going to call him. And then we will go out tonight. Then don't blame me if you feel jealous from him. He smirked in his closed eyes. I think you really want me to break his bonds. He opened his eyes and you were sitting beside him. You smiled with your squint eyes. Ash, I think... A step on my man's possessiveness. I like it. I love it. You slide your finger on his cheeks to jaw, but he grabbed your wrist. Stay away from me, Vyan. I'm not that easy you are thinking. You giggled. You know, I love hard things. You have no idea about me. You just know my name. You s your smile job. You clinch your jaw and roll your eyes. You just have 10 minutes. I'm waiting outside. You get up and walk to the door. If you do not come, don't blame me after I complain to my dad about you. I'm your father's bodyguard, not yours. I do not want to listen to anything. Just tell me clearly if you want me to go out with Jack, then you can sleep peacefully. I won't disturb you. If you spoke his name one more time, I promise and I swear I won't let you speak. You chuckled and turned around. He was right in the front of you. Your breath hitched. Jack, Jack, Jack. Don't you know how much I hate him? He pulled up your chin. Hmm, pretty girl? I also know you loves me. I never said that. He cleared his throat. You're... Every move towards me shows that, Mr. Jeyondra Cook. He tilted his head. I don't love you, madam. I'm waiting outside, Mr. Liar. You step out and open the door while leaving him here. You went out of his room. He took a deep breath. Why, Anne? Please don't make things harder for me. I'm already regretting it. He grabbed his shirt, but suddenly his phone ringed up. He picked up the call. Yeah, bro, everything is going as we planned. When are you coming back? Tomorrow. Be careful, okay? This is the first time we are not with you. You have to be more careful this time. Don't worry, I will be careful this time. And what about that girl? I have no idea. She doesn't give me any important information about her father. But I don't know why. I think while pretending to have feelings for her, I started catching real feelings for her. Come on, Jion. Don't ruin our plan because of your stubborn heart. I'm trying, bro. But... He became silent for some seconds, then he spoke. We all are ready to respect your decision. A smile appeared on his lips. Thanks, bro. He is Jun Jungkook, your father's bodyguard, who came to take his revenge from him. Your father is a mafia who tried to destroy Jun's empire, his team, and his workplace. Jungkook is the mafia boss, except his team. No one know how Jun Jungkook look like, but here goes. Kim Jones tried to attack on his empire, so he come by himself to take his revenge from him. His older brother Jin, who is guiding him until he met the girl named name Byan, Kim Jones' daughter, and she changed everything.
He pretended to be in love with her just for knowing the secrets about her father, but he got stuck in his own plan when he realized he really fell for her, and the more craziest thing he realized this just few days before he was due to leave. He opened the door and sat inside beside you. Now tell me where you want to go. Now I'm not in mood. Now I'm sleepy. Before you opened the door, he grabbed your elbow and turned you to him. What's your problem, Vyan? You jerk his hand and grab his collar with both of your hand. What's your problem, hmm? On one side, you behave like you love me so much. On second time, you broke my heart like I'm nothing to you. Hum, just shut up. What do you want? I want you. He smiled and tuck your hair is behind your ear. So you want me? Stop smiling. I hate it. You left your grip from his collar and leaned back. So you love me, but you hate when I smile. Don't talk with me. Sorry, madam, but I can't do this. You look around and movie started, but no one was there except both of you. You were in this place. He nodded. He squint your eyes. He wraps his arm around you and whisper in your ear, Don't be shocked. I'm secretly a billionaire. And I'm secretly in love with Jack. Jack is your friend from whom don't go always get jealous. You really like to test my patience. I was kidding. So calm down. He rolled his eyes and looked away. Jack look at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nah. Don't talk to me, Vyan. Why are you jealous from him, huh? You open your eyes when he leaned back. You are my, so stop teasing me. So you are convincing your love. Yes, he spoke while looking straight in your eyes. But dad is thinking about to arrange my engagement with his friend's son. Can you help me to run away from my engagement? Do you think I will let this engagement happen? I like it. I love it. You place your head on his shoulder and look at, at the screen. Do you know he's Kim Johnson? What? You have a stepbrother? You look at him. No. Oh, I, I think I have not told you this. Do you know my father's name is Lee Jong, not Kim Jon? Actually, I have no idea, but... My uncle Jones paid to my dad to pretend to be him. He sent my father everywhere for his work and people think he's real Jahan. Mean real Jahan is someone else. Do you have his picture, Uncle Johans? Yeah, of course I have his picture. You show him his picture. Send me this picture. Why? Don't you want me to stop this engagement? You smile, fine. You look down on your phone and send him this his picture. Some hours later, how this happened? Jungkook, he gives me last chance. You saw him? Arrange your daughter's marriage with him or else he will destroy us. Stop it, John. I'm working for you. It doesn't mean I will let anything bad happen to my daughter. Your daughter love her. We got caught up because of her. And Jungkook is that person you trust the most, your bodyguard. He is John Take. Yeah. He gives me 12 hours. Arrange your marriage. As soon as possible. Please. I'm backing. Flashback. He made you lay on the bed. Then he sat beside you. That revenge doesn't matter for me anymore. Because you are more important. Here. He stopped the car near the restaurant, but when he stepped out his, from his car, his eyes widened. The car behind him of his guards was not there. Leaning against the wall, Mr. Johan, are you looking for something? How oh, he know my name? Is not he is Lee Jong's bodyguard? Don't think too much. He opened his eyes and he was in the middle of jungle. Where I am? Help, help me. He heard a laugh. Please let me go. I will do whatever you say. Jungkook smiled and walked to him. Are you sure? 
Who are you and why you are doing this? I am Jeon Jungkook. And now you have to do as I say. Pat on his cheeks. Dear John. Next morning, are not you going to ask anything to me? You were deciding a card, marriage invitation card. What do you want me to ask you, Mr. Jeon Jungkook? Like, are not you shocked how suddenly we are getting married? I was shocked on that day when I get to know my father's bodyguard is a mafia boss. His jaw drop. How you know? He wrap you wrap your arms around his neck. You never notice, but I always be call you Jeon Jungkook, not Jeon Jackie. Of course, I know your real name. That's why I call you by your real name. How? I heard you talking with your partners. Why did not you tell about me to your father? Because I was in love with you. I love you too. The end. But I'm still confused. I mean, the spelling J O H and how to pronounce it, John or John. So please, please tell me in the comment section. Bye bye.